Science Tree, Quarter 3, Week 5 For today, we are going to study electrical energy. Are you ready to learn? Learning Competency The learners should be able to Describe the uses of light, sound, heat, and electricity. In our previous lesson, we've learned that light is a form of energy. It helps us to see the beauty of God's creation. The sun is the Earth's primary source of heat and light. Without the sun, no life can exist. The sun keeps us warm and let us see in the dark. We also tackle luminous and non-luminous materials. Materials that give off their own light are called luminous materials. Examples of these are stars, flashlights, light bulbs, and burning materials. While objects that do not produce their own light are called non-luminous materials. Examples of these are Books, pencil, toys, clothes, and bugs. Today, we are going to study electricity. What do we mean by electricity? Electricity is the flow of electrical power or charge. It is a secondary energy source which means that we get it from the conversion of other sources of energy like coal, natural gas, oil, nuclear power, and other natural sources which are called primary sources. Electricity is important to humans. It is produced from different sources such as windmills, poles, and sun. It is generated by power plants. Power plants include the windmills in Bangui, Ilocos Norte, and hydroelectric plants like the Maria Cristina Falls. Electricity from power plants travels through wires to reach your house and different places. Do you know what is shown in the picture? Very good! These are solar panels. Another source of electricity is the sun. Solar cells are used to generate electricity from solar energy. Photovoltaic cells or PV cells are the most common solar cells used in commercially available solar panels. PV cells capture the electrons freed when certain materials absorb light and in the process convert light energy into electricity. Each PV cell is made up of two layers of semiconducting material, most commonly silicon. Electricity can also come from batteries or an electric power plant or power stations. A battery has a positive and a negative terminal. When both terminals are connected to a device or gadget, the chemicals inside the battery will undergo chemical reaction to produce electricity. The electricity from outlet comes from electric power plant. A power plant has turbines which could be turned by steam. 
which is connected to a generator. The generators produce electricity which travels through electrical cables into our homes. Remember, there are also batteries for flashlights, mobile phones, laptop, and cars. So, we can say that there are different kinds of batteries. Now, let us categorize objects whether they use battery or electricity, or both battery and electricity. TV Clock Cell phone Car Rice cooker Refrigerator and a wristwatch. Categorize objects whether they use battery or electricity or both battery and electricity. Have you encountered these words? Conductor and insulator. Do you have any idea? Conductor is any material that allows electric current to pass through it. On the other hand, insulator does not allow electric current to pass through it, like the protective coating on wires. Can you give me examples of conductors? Copper, aluminum, steel, or any metals allows electric current to pass through it. So, they are called conductors. Can you give me now examples of insulators? Plastic, rubber, glass, cloth, and wood are insulators. They do not allow electric current to pass through them. Most of our appliances at home work because of electricity. This form of energy is very useful in our daily lives. It is used to produce light, heat, motion, and sound. It helps people to do their daily activities. It is also used in transportation, to power machines, in cooking and baking, and to operate gadgets. Electrical appliances make our work easier. They also provide convenience. Electricity is used to produce light, heat, motion, and sound. It is very important in our home and in all places to help people in doing daily life activities. However, electricity can bring danger when used improperly. How do you protect yourself from electrical hazards? These are electrical safety reminders. First, cables, wires, and damaged sockets do not repair but replace. Be observant. Replace damaged cables, wires, and sockets to avoid fire or danger. Second, do not touch electrical appliances or wires with wet hands. 
monitor the humidity in rooms where there is electricity. Why you should do this? Hmm. Very good. One should not touch electrical appliances with wet hands since water is a good conductor. Contact with moisture may result in electrical shocks. Third reminder, pull the plug, not the cord. It can cause an electric shock or fire when you pull the cord. Fourth, don't overload. One of the leading causes of electrical accidents is overloaded sockets and extensions. Never overload an extension by plugging in appliances that together will exceed the maximum current rating stated for the extension. This could cause the plug-in, the wall sockets to overheat and possibly cause fire. Inspect extension cords regularly. Next, electrical safety. If there is a fire in the household appliance, do not try to extinguish it with water. What is the best way to put out an electric fire? Very good! Use fire extinguisher. If you don't have one, remember these tips. You should never throw water on an electric fire because water conducts electricity and you could be electrocuted. If there's smoke, fire, or a strange odor coming from your appliances, wires, or electric motors, you should turn off both the appliances and the circuit breaker or fuse box main switch and immediately call the firefighters. Don't put fingers in sockets. This could lead to danger. Remember this saying, electricity is a great friend. At the same time, it is a deadly enemy. Why? Because electricity is one of the most exciting forms of energy. It is amazingly useful, but it can also be incredibly dangerous. It is important to protect yourself from electrical hazards. Trivia time! Do you know these freshwater predators? Hmm, very good. These are electric eels. These famous freshwater predators get their name from the enormous electrical charge they can generate to stun prey and dissuade predators. Their bodies contain electric organs with about 6,000 specialized cells called electrocytes that store power like tiny batteries. Now, let's have some activities. Challenge me. Analyze the picture. Describe how light, heat, sound, or electricity is used in each activity. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. Analyze the picture. Describe how light, 
heat, sound, or electricity is used in each activity.